Stick ball sensor on. Ground lock, magnify. There they are. So that's the one I'm going to go for. 6.2, 5.9. Turn it off. I can barely see him, but I do see him. Alright, let's just walk it up. Walk it up, walk it up, walk it up. Walk it up. Pull up. There again, I have no idea. Man, it's just so difficult with the rockets. I still have more rockets, so I think if I didn't get a hit on any one of them, I'm going to go back to the Vikers for their artillery positions to use the rest of the rockets on the trucks. Nav mode. Waypoint one again. We have a ground mode. Check ball sensor on. What am I doing on fuel? 2130 fuel on this mission is always tight and another thing I did when I re-edited the or edited the mission was I gave myself a little bit more fuel than wax started us off with I gave myself 88% uh, fuel which in this mission I need it because I have to make multiple passes you can see on the HSI I'm coming around to the waypoint for the uh, target area, which is waypoint one. Magnify, and it doesn't look like I did any damage at all to any of the targets, where well, there is one. So I am gonna go to Viker Missile. I have a lock, lays the target. I am within range. Get the target lays. Move to the next target in range. Two more, uh, two more artillery positions, I believe. Another option for judging, uh, well, let me get my trim set back up. I kind of messed up. Switchology area again. I'm just trying to recenter the trim. There we go. Okay, another tool for egressing out is to use a clock. <laughs> Of course, I've wasted quite a bit of fuel and time on that error. Those errors with uh, accidentally hitting the autopilot buttons while I was doing, or the trim autopilots, and then um, having to retrim the aircraft. Regress back out. Turn back in. I still have bikers left. And one of the things with uh, 
I have found with the SU-25 Tango is, especially at low level, if you can, don't firewall the uh, thing. This thing really uses fuel when you firewall it. I try to keep it at around no more than about 90%. Which can be difficult to do when you got a full load. Ground lock it. There we go. Magnify, and I have a target. Laze it. Firing. I think that is all. And I messed up. <laughs> I moved the laser. That was another error. You have to keep the target lazed. Have to keep the target lazed. So that is going to be one wasted pass and from here it is just difficult to see the and again I'm running low on fuel for this mission 2,000 kilograms that's going to be cutting it close another tr uh, option for judging the egress is to use the clock and I can use the a lapse time and I'll fly out in about 40 seconds so what I was doing is trying to take out two targets on one pass but you have to wait until the first missile strikes its target and what I my mistake was is I moved the target cursor which broke the laser broke the laser lock Reset the clock, we we'll stop the clock, reset the clock. Turn around. Magnify, look for my target. I do not see him. I have it. I have one. Not quite within range yet. Now I am, so blaze it. Fire. Keep my laser pointed at it. And you can see on the shake ball display. Countdown. Cool. Now, are there any other? I think there's one more. I don't know where it's at. I have it. I'm still within range. There we go. So we're gonna keep it locked. The artillery group has been Good. destroyed. And as you can see, now the truck group smoke. And these trucks are difficult also to target. I'm gonna go back to the rockets for the truck group. Actually, I'm going to try the bombs with the truck group. The bombs are really difficult. So, bombs, and I think I'm going to do a release both the bombs. I think I'll do it in a 0.2 second interval. See how that works. And I think this will be a CCRP type release. I'm not going to do a dive bomb, but a sort of a shallow angle shallow dive or level bomb bomb run back to nav mode waypoint one so I'm far enough out back to air to ground mode shift ball sensor back on even though you don't use the shift ball sensor again for bombs it helps me to find 
the target when I'm a distance out. Ground lock. Magnify. Oh, I thought I had a ground lock. Magnify. And there's my targets. These two trucks, I think I will try for these two trucks. So, shake ball sensor off. And it is so hard to see them at a distance. And to put my, to lock on the cursor. And I'm kind of walking it up. Okay, I've blocked that area. And keep the cursor centered. And I'm doing the countdown now. As you see on the left side of the HUD. Yo. Whoa. A little bit of air traffic. So I have no idea if I got that truck or not. Uh, egress now. About 40 seconds. And I think my next weapon is I went back to the rockets. And it's indicated by CBM. I'll give a rocket pass at the trucks and see if I can do any better with that. Reset, stop the clock, reset the clock. The elapsed time. And again, fuel management. And this thing is always a concern. Oh, I think I hit one of the trucks. I actually did with the bomb. Chick ball sensor on. Leave it down, lock it. Well, I can't tell. Yes, I did. I can see it now. I certainly did. All right. Pick all sensor off. Go for that truck there with the rocket attack. Within range. was long and that was all my rockets I probably have enough fuel for maybe two more passes three more passes so what I'm gonna go to next are guns gotta do the guns waypoint one again extend out for about 10 kilometers seven kilometers eight kilometers when start turning around If I don't make any hits with this, I'm going to have to use the bikers to finish if I'm going to get a mission success. So I want to go for that truck. Very difficult. Very difficult.
I see it burning. That was a little close. Wow, that's amazing. Back to nav mode. Waypoint one again. Go to ground mode. I've probably got enough fuel, maybe for two passes. Oh, 1150 pounds, and I'm cutting it close. On that, I am. Okay, 10 kilometers. I'll go back to guns mode. Turn my shake valve sensor on and see if. Yes, I do believe I hit one of the trucks. I certainly did. Okay. So I have a lock on that truck. How am I doing on fuel? Point two, five point nine. Turn the sensor off. There it is. It seems like I can easily easier it's easier to control the aim if I'm not in zoom but just I actually hit the truck one truck left and the helicopter left and I'm really getting low on fuel Вот и сделали квадрат, а у них и четыре.